we're going to find the variance and standard deviation of the numbers 10, 11, 12, 13, and 15. 10, 12, 13, and 15. Four numbers this time. So your n is going to be 4 instead of 5. What's the first step? Right. Find the mean. The mean is 12.5. We got a decimal. Is that bad? Well, it makes it a little trickier, but we'll survive. We're tough. We can handle decimals. Also, we have calculators to do decimals for us. So put your numbers in the first column. Get 2.5, negative 0.5, and negative 2.5. We take each of these numbers and square it to fill in the third column. Once again, they're all positive after they've been squared. Add them up, we get a 13. Very nice. So the variance is going to be thirteen divided by four which would be uh, 3.25. Take the square root of that, you got your standard deviation. Take out your calculator make sure that it's giving you a reasonable answer to this. The answer had, pro had probably better be a little bit less than two. So I got about 1.80. You don't have to include all the decimal places. Um, on a test, two would be good enough for me when you do your homework. Read the instructions because the computer's really picky and make sure you give the number of decimal places that the question asks for. So, the other thing you got to watch out for is don't do any internal rounding if you can possibly avoid it. I used the whole decimal here, the whole decimal here, only round here. Don't round any earlier if you can possibly avoid it. If you have to round earlier, keep a lot of decimal places. At least two more than you want in your final answer. So, if you are having trouble doing this on your calculator, it's probably a button that looks like this one. Stop and find it. You might have to hit the 3.25 and then the button, or you might be hitting the button first. Get to know your calculator. If you are trying to do something on your calculator and you can't figure out how, Google the model number of your calculator, and you'll probably find the instruction manual. If you still can't figure it out, ask me. It might help to send me a picture of the front of your calculator.
Okay, so this is how you find the variance and the standard deviation. Simple, right? Well, relatively simple. So now I'm going to complicate life for you. What's the difference between a sample and a population? Well, a sample is just part of the population. If you wanted to find the average age of students in a class, you'd probably ask all of them. But if you wanted to find the average age of people in a whole state, you'd probably have to select a random sample. 